My father, whom I still talk to every day, raised me as a single father. And so my father really instilled in me confidence, my understanding of who I was, that I was beautiful inside and out. My dad just had big dreams for me. He wouldn't just tell me that I was going to college, he would say to me that I was going to Harvard. And I grew up in South Texas, nobody I knew had ever gone to that school, but from the very, very uh, earliest memory I had, my dad told me that that's what I was gonna do, and, uh, and, and I did. Um, and I just think that that was part of it, is that my dad just had this belief that I was gonna go on and do really exciting things. My dad was always that person that pushed me and told me that I could do anything in life. And I wanna do a lot of things. And so having that person in your life really pushes you towards all of your goals. I remember learning how to cook. I learned how to make cupcakes, but we just had an oven that didn't work very well. So I would make cupcakes and the top would bake really nice and the bottom would all be liquid, but my dad, never let me know. He'd eat one or two and just pat me on the head and say what a great job and how good they tasted and I'd go make another batch and he'd eat it again. And it wasn't until years later that I look back at that and think about the sacrifice he made. Probably had stomach ache afterwards. But he never let me know. He just wanted to motivate me. When I wanted to start a business, my first idea came when I was eight years old. And he was so supportive of that and everything that I've pursued since then, he's always been my number one cheerleader. You know, my dad encouraged me to try a lot of different things, and he also encouraged me to try a lot of things that weren't sort of typical for a girl to do. Growing up in Nigeria, girls typically um, weren't engineers, but I really liked physics and I really liked math, and my dad was an engineer and I wanted to be an engineer. Um, and uh, the culture, the notion was that engineering were from men. So I was often discouraged by extended family members or sometimes people in school, that maybe I should consider something else. Um, but my dad was always very, you know, you do whatever you want it to do. If you want to be an engineer, be an engineer. One memory I have really vividly is my dad bringing us outside. I must have been in elementary school. And um, it was middle of the night, we were in pajamas, and I was just very confused as to what was going on. And we looked up and there was a meteor shower going on. And there were, it was absolutely amazing, reds and blues and greens streaking across the sky. And so like that was, uh, really cool and I think probably influenced me to go more towards aerospace engineering. He really encouraged me to explore science, technology, engineering, math uh, topics. When um, I was growing up, he used to invite my sister and I to bring your child to work day. And I remember where he worked, seeing how motors were built, seeing the camaraderie he had with his friends. And I think that really triggered an interest actually both in my sister and I and learning more about STEM-based fields. My dad has always been a huge supporter of me following my music dreams. My mom as well, but um, my dad uh, is an avid music lover. And so I think that that naturally led to him, you know, just being really excited that I also took a passion in music. He's my road dog. He's always there to help me at my shows and encourage me and, and has always been that way. And I think that I, I may not have ended up doing this were not for that support. One of the things that my dad did that I think really inspired me to get interested in mathematics and investing at an early age is we raise livestock. And so one of the regular conversations around the breakfast table at our house was, what's the price of fat cattle? When is it time to sell? How should we look at the markets? And so I was listening to the Chicago Board of Trade from the time I was five or six years old. So it was ingrained in me that way. He loves me no matter what. He supported everything that I did. He thinks that the sun rises and sets on me. And I think it's all wonderful to have someone who believes so strongly in you. My dad originally grew up in Brooklyn. Um, he came from a family of basically no means. And he scraped and drove himself forward to get everything that he could. And I, to this day, feel a great sense of not just responsibility, but also um, privilege to have had a father who worked so hard to give me so much. And I don't wanna waste that opportunity. So I think every day about the doors he opened for me.